Good morning, y'all. Good morning. It's early Christmas Eve morning. And early to me is uh, before 10 o'clock when you don't have to be. Take my. Okay. Making sure my garage door is going down. But yeah, y'all, uh, I am up early because your girl is uh, going to get the nails done. My nail tech said, hey, come roll, come roll on up. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing. We're rolling on up um, to go get the nails done. Plus, I got to get some corn oil. Um, we're not going to do the my family small gathering at my house today because everybody's just running around. They're wrapping gifts. They're doing this, they're doing that, doing this, and that. So, you know, it would be a break in their flow because, um, of course, tomorrow's Christmas. So I'm going to do the... Uh, house gathering um which i'm kind of breaking code because i you know with covid and everything but anyway it's just gonna be just my immediate family so it'll be less than 10 of us and um i'm gonna do the fish fry i'm gonna bake for uh bake for fish fried fish um potato salad regular green salad um fruit bowl uh, I'm doing shrimp and grits I'm going to do some croissants something sweet and of course lemonade I'll do the brown sugar lemonade and some um, sweet tea and water and that's going to be it uh, so we're going to just do that Saturday afternoon just have a get together and um that's it and that's all but anyway y'all um so today is just gonna be about getting my nails done getting some corn oil getting a few other things that i might need to get for saturday um and then what else i'm gonna clean my house and then we're gonna do the the live tonight wrapping gifts for anybody who wants to tune in whether it's one of y'all or ten it doesn't matter i'm gonna just go live for probably about an hour and just wrap gifts talk jaw jack you know and then um like i said get my house all straightened out so that way when i wake up on saturday all i got to do is cook honey and everything else will be clean straightened out um bathrooms and stuff like that and I already, I already been upstairs and checked the bonus room. Um, so for the, when the kids come, they can go up there and, and hang out. That's their little spot. Other than that, that's it, y'all. Um, y'all, I was up late last night watching um, 161 Tina. Shout out to 161 Tina. I've been following her. She's my Virgo sister over out there in Cali. I've been walk, watching her and rocking with her and going into the grown woman's den, oh my God, since 2010. She was one of the first YouTubers I started watching, you know, um, back then. Her, Kiana, 50, uh, Kiana, because 52, Muffins is my lovers. Um, all of them, I used to watch them all the time back in there. Who else? Time the Infamous. I need to check her out. I hadn't tuned in to her in a while. She does, you know, all the makeup tutorials and stuff. She's been on a few reality shows um, and stuff like that. But I need to check in with her. I know she, uh, and she shared this on her platform. She had uh, black, uh, breast implants. And um, she had to have them removed because it was having an uh, adverse effect on her health. And I mean, she went through, so she had them totally removed because it was causing some stuff going on with her mental, with her physical, her the chemistry levels in her body. It was just a whole hot mess. So they said, you know, some women, when they get those breast implants, that they leak, and it, it just depends on your body. Your body will either accept it or reject it, and, and honey, it took her through the mill, honey. But you know what? I still love watching other people's channel because, you know, like I said, I love people and I just like to hear their story. 
and they just talk about life, you know, and, and then we talk about women issues. You know, there's some people that you're going to just gravitate towards and some, some people's language is colorful, but see, I can weed all past that. As long as it don't enter into my spirit where it causes me to do all that stuff, which it don't. I mean, if, my goodness, if we can, we can read the Bible and all the stuff that went down in now, honey, please. A little colorful language doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. Now, that's just me. Some people just, you know, they can't tolerate it. But I'm just saying, I like to learn. I like to learn. And so, when I'm hanging out and chilling with women that are my age, and what I mean by in the in the grown woman's den, it's just like when we sit around and used to listen to our aunts and uncles talk junk when we were younger. Uh, or some of us still listen to them now talk junk. Ain't that the truth? But you just learn through all that hollering and fussing grandma and them used to do. Uh, with all you're getting, get an understanding. So, you know, we all still learn from them when they did all that fussing and perhaps cussing. Uh, you learn. You learn. Because you take, you take the meat and you spit out the bone. As my former pastor would used to say. God rest his soul. He's going on to glory. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you just learn. You learn. So anyway, so I still rock with some of these ladies that, and you figure now, I can remember 116 to 1 when I was uh, uh, first started watching her. I mean, all her children were in grade school. Now they're all grown, going to college, getting jobs. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing to see. Just like people who have watched me and have seen Lauren and, and Man Man and Tina, y'all see them the progression and seeing them grow up uh, they, they grew up together you know since infants they have grown up together the three amigos the three cousins and they love each other the deal and I tell them you know you know life may separate you meaning you know you, you grow up you live your life you might go over here y'all might relocate and live in a whole another state you get married have children but I always remember family, you know? Y'all be the ones that look out for each other. Y'all be the ones who stick together and, 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 you know, keep up with each other. Try to keep up with each other, you know? I know sometimes, you know, like I said, life can take us in many different directions. But as oft as you can, keep up with one another. If something going on and the best of your ability, you can step in and help, aid, and assist. Y'all keep up with one another and, and, and call each other. Keep keep each other information so that you can call one another and say what's up. It's just like the other day, you know, my cousin Keisha, we, we pretty much grew up together. You know, we spent summers together. She had even been... Uh, stayed with us every summer because we were military so during the summer you know we go get Keisha and she hang out with us every summer or we'll go to you know back then my grandma and grandpa when they were living we get dropped off at their house you know for two weeks at a time for the summer and stuff that we weren't used to being around when we would you know of course living with our parents and stuff but those two weeks during the summer when we would go visit grandma and them see that's when you learned about uh your aunts and uncles and what they was into we would eavesdrop hiding in their closet so we can hear with them talking on the telephone oh honey you talk about nose of parks nose of we were some nosy children shoot and tansy children were, were, were nosy too Especially Karan. Yeah, Karan, I'm talking about you. Because me and my mama, we would get to talking and jaw jacking around at her kitchen table. Like I said, honey, y'all, honey, now you talk about some conversation. Honey, I'm telling y'all, on Sundays, we would sit around the table. This is before I started recording and stuff. Shoot. Like I told you, honey, we, we always have done Sunday dinner. Uh, it, didn't ju it didn't just start when I decided to uh and put a, put me and my family on camera 
a hundred. And I can remember Quran when they were little. It was mostly Quran. He would be hiding under the kitchen table, honey, and listening to every conversation we were having. I said, "You nosy joker, you nosy joker." be under that uh, John Brown kitchen table and be soaking up and we wouldn't know he was in there until he moved and scared us. Ooh, boy. But you know, that's and that's another thing too. We as parents, honey, you think you, you don't went out to the woodshed to have a conversation or to, 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 to squeeze out an argument with your significant other or your husband or the parents. Yeah, you think your children don't know what you're doing and, and, and talking about. Trust, trust and believe. Uh, they know. Honey, you think they sleep and they might ever be. But trust and believe, honey, children, you can thank you shielding them from stuff if you want to. Because what they don't learn uh, from you, like I said, on them on them two weeks that they visited grandma and them <laughs> and your aunts and uncles let it all hang out because they, they just don't care yeah you learned it that way <laughs> uh oh am I giving up secrets but it's true ooh this Mustang in front of me needs an oil change or something honey he done, he's polluting the air connecting that pollution honey I tell you what if you had small uh Small test here, honey. They show he showed wooden pies. I mean, he got some smoke coming out. I mean, I can smell it all through my system. But anyway, y'all, I'm just jogging jacking this morning. Like I said, it's a beautiful morning. Um, now it's 66 degrees now. I don't even know what the uh, attention uh, the temperature is gonna be like today, but apparently, it's gonna be uh, pretty mild. Now, see, they said it was supposed to be doing a bunch of um, raining today. But, see, everything's going to close early today so folks can enjoy their Christmas with their families. So, I imagine stuff will be closing about 4, what, 4, 6 o'clock, somewhere around there. They're going to have to close it. See, let me tell you something. People is out already. Do you hear me? People is out, honey, already. And if the store, well, we're on the curfew here at 10 o'clock. So I don't know if uh, the store stayed open past 10 last night. I, I imagine they need to close at 9 so people can get checked out and be halfway off the road by 10, you know. And I'm sure, you know, if you ain't, you know, off the road right at 10 o'clock, you're going to get pulled over. I mean, you know, that's just a curfew but you never say never honey they they say hey you supposed to be in the hacienda you supposed to be in, in the off the road if you will but anyway other than that y'all that's it that's all but honey it's all like i said it's 10 o'clock in the morning and under these parking lots at these shopping centers it's all resist fools honey they ain't playing honey they're gonna get that money honey but yeah, today is the day. And you know what? Some people love that hustle and bustle of being out here at the last minute, getting their gifts, shopping, getting their last good Christmas deals. Some people love it. Some people wait till the very last day to shop. They really do. They don't mind that stuff is mulled and picked over. Um, yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty Audi. Pretty silver. But yeah, y'all. We just job jacking. We just, we just, we just talking as we going to the nail shop, honey. It's about a 15 minute drive from my house. 15, almost 15, 20 minute drive, just depending on the, tr the traffic, honey. But surprisingly, there ain't a whole lot of cars on the highway because everybody's already at the shopping center, honey. They got up early, honey. Early, early, early. Yes, they did, honey. But yeah, y'all. I wonder how many.
many people buying cars today, you know? I know when I bought this car, it was on, um, what was it, 2017. This baby will be paid for come July of next year. Oh, glory. Oh, glory, glory. Ooh, I think I might just enjoy not having a car note for a quick minute and then if I decide to trade it in and get me that. I've been really looking at that Lexus SUV 350 or 350 or but I'm a John Brown Ford girl. Let me tell you, I love me some Ford. I'm built tough. Dog on it, skippity dee. I actually like that Ford Edge. That body shape on that Ford Edge, that SUV. I really do. So I don't know what I'm going to get. You know what? But like I said, if I decide to get, go to uh, step it up. I may, but I'm going to tell you now, that new Mercedes, oh, wow, that thing is awesome. But it's a car. And I want to get back into an SUV, honestly. I really, really do. I do, I do, I do. But I don't know what I'm going to do. All I want to do is zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. <laughs> y'all remember that song but anyway y'all we'll see we'll see we'll see what the numbers look like it's gotta make sense to me I'm funny I don't like to pay no more the max I'm gonna pay for a car note and I, I like to get my cars financed for 4 years or 5 years just depending on um, the cost of it I don't like to go over $500 for no car payment. Now, that's just me. Uh, so, y'all can make it work. Because, I mean, you know, when you go past $500, and I know you're going to have to pay that kind of money if you're getting a luxury car. I get it. But my brain still ain't. I can't imagine paying past five years for a vehicle. I, I just, now, now that's just me now. That's just your girl. And I know that y'all are saying, girl, please, if you want you a nice luxury car, uh, you're going to be paying for a car for seven years. But I'm thinking, I'm trying to pay my house off in 15. And then, and then you mean, Tim, I got to do a car, a car for, um, see, that's where my mind is. But you never know. Like I said, if you really want something, you park right here. Because this, you really want something, you pay for what you want, you know. And that's really the truth. We do it moving. Like we finna go in here and do it moving and get these nails did. See you in about a couple of hours. Sure. <music> I'm making a pit stop run for mama. Um, I got everything I need and had to pick up some sweet potatoes for her. So I'm finna go make a pit stop over there. I'm finna eat my salad. Then I'm finna get back to the house. Let me tell y'all something. It is show enough, show enough. Uh, crowded. People are out everywhere shopping. I done ran up on two accidents and oh my goodness honey i mean when you when, when it's crowded like this and you're going in and out of the shopping centers it's almost like you need a neck extender it's like when you're driving you better be driving like this and like this you know i can't extend my neck too much because i don't want my powerball to get smashed yeah but honey, yes, honey, I was driving like doing one of these numbers here because, honey, you have to watch out for folks. They're so busy trying to get here, there, and everywhere, 
and they know they ain't got but now it's almost two o'clock it's 145 and they know that they don't have but a few more hours to go shopping and honey even when these lights turn green you better do your neck extender and drive with your neck extended 